Welcome back to the Moy International Sports Center, Kasurani. It's the 8th edition of the Safari Cup 7. And right now, we have Western Province of South Africa playing against Kwamba. Western Province won their first game against uh, Rwanda 31 points to nil. But Kwamba lost their first game against uh, Kenya Shuja by 29 points to 7. So it's a bastard game for Kwamba. And they're playing a very difficult opponent in Western Province. Good to have Western Province back into Kenya. Early in the day, they played against Rwanda, winning 31 points to zero. But this looks like it will be a tougher game against Mwamba, former National Sevens uh, Series champions. Mwamba, very, very uh, successful Sevens playing club in Kenya, having produced some of the great names in Kenyan rugby like Collins Injara, Humphrey Kayange, Lavin Nasego, amongst a whole of others. The kicker of us is Kefa, Peter Kefa from Mwamba to kick us off of the game. Mwamba playing in the black and grey shade and Western Province in the traditional blue and white hoops. Yeah, so far it's going to be an excellent start there from uh, Western Province who have won the game, who have stolen that ball competitive at the breakdown and searing break there from the Western Province team. And the pass completion already so far, passes are finding their hands. Mwamba trying. Uh, Mwamba trying to be competitive with the breakdown, but so far it's not working. But still, Western Province with the ball, trying to look for the gap there in the Mwamba defense. And uh, unfortunately, they're not going anywhere, they're going backwards. You can sense a certain level of uh, caution. Right now, they found some space there in Western Province. Chumwani for Mwamba with the tackle, drives over, and it looks like it's going to be a turnover for Mwamba. The referee says it's good to play. Mwamba hold the ball up, they lose the ball again. Western Province have extra men outside because Mwamba have very many fellows in the rack. They spread the ball out wide and it will be a walk in. Western Province there with a try. Western Province is a the match. Western Province snatch the lead there. Western Province 5. It's 5 0 to Western Province. Remember, this is a game that Mwamba have to win after losing their first game to the Kenya Shuja team. While Western Province already have won their first game. And already showing their intent, having sucked everyone to the rack, and Mwamba having no one there outside to cover and defend Western Province with the lead. And uh, so far, so good for the blue and white of Western Province from South Africa. Well, up conversion, good Western Province 7, Mwamba 0. Mwamba bench not looking very happy. They need to live up to their name Mwamba, which means rock in Swahili. They need to have a stead rock fast defense and an even better offense. Oh, yeah. And uh, once again, it's a knockout from Mwamba. Mwamba haven't had a hold of the ball. Uh, with the likes of Edgar Berra, uh, Edgar Berra there, Joseph Oriwo, the go to guys in, in this team. And uh, nothing seems to be going the way so far in opening two minutes of the game. We have a lot of work to do to counter this powerful, fast running Western Province side. It's going to be a scrum feed to the uh, Western Province side. Western Province on the offense seem to be playing with a lot of caution only running when they need to and they look to have someone with a lot of pace out there and just like that you know the first face of the ball the first face got their second ball yeah first face ball man honestly Mwamba need to pull up they seem to be in tatters right now as we speak uh, and uh, western province extend their advantage to 12 to 12 points to nil with a searing burst of speed there and there was no way Mwamba defense are going to catch this flying South African. And he makes it 12 points to do with the conversion to come. Of course, Mwamba is a club that uh, Kenya 7 speed star Collins Injera, former IRB drugs and anti doping ambassador Africa Yange, Lavin Nasego have played for. So they're actually a respectable club in the Kenyan scene, having produced very many established players for both national teams, 7s and 15s. Conversion out wide, scores remain, Western Province 12, Mwamba 0. Not forgetting Dennis Obachi, who made a name for himself during the past IRB7 season, IRB7 series. The 
searing with burst of speed and excellent tries. And uh, Mwamba coach there, Meli Wanibuli, looking a very worried man. His team haven't got going just yet. And once again, Western Province winning their own kickoff. Yeah, the Mwamba coach, the Fijian, when he, Meli Wanibuli does not look very confident because Western Province look like they're on the Chimwani makes the tackle, but Mwamba look to be penalized because there wasn't an illegal entry in there. They wouldn't need to get that penalty out. And um, Western Province got their third try. Western Province 17, Mwamba 0. With their third try in barely four minutes, and just looking at the Mwamba bench, they're in Mwamba shock. Mwamba technical bench, Kevin Wambua not looking too happy there. Not look, Yeah, exactly. He looks uh, worried, by the way, because they're giving out, they're leaking tries at a very alarming rate. Yes, and if you did. ask me, I don't think Western Province were expecting an easy game. They thought that Mwamba should be the harder game than Rwanda. But this is turning out to be like the first game when they swamped the Rwandese effortlessly. I think the bigger concern for Mwamba is that they're actually considering tries off the first phase. Of Western the Province have actually realized that they have speedsters on either side of the wing. And once they actually spread the ball onto one side, they're actually managing to get the gaps in there. They don't need to actually place a breakdown to draw in any defenders. Yes. It looks like they realize that Mwamba don't have as much speed as would have been expected on the wings and they're making it count each and every time they have the ball. Absolutely, and also their kickoffs also. They have Mwamba not winning any, or any of the kickoffs from the Western Province, so that already is a problem. Of course, I don't think if they had Humphrey Kayange, that would have happened. A couple of comedians in the pitch there, looking like engineers, <laughs> engineering some mischief yes, perhaps. Exactly. Oh, another knock on there from Mwamba and a mistake. And this looks like it's going to be another try for Western Province. Mwamba, Really not in the races. Western Province seem to be feeding off the scraps that Mamba gave them very, very well. Well, Mamba have have, have steady themselves, and uh, they have actually won the ball, and they have actually got a decent spell of possession. Oh, what a mistake again! Western Province. Western Province, another silly mistake if you ask from, from Mamba there. Poor ball handling. And that try extends the lead to Western Province to 22 points to nil. 22 points to nil. Western Province in the lead. Having won their first game against Rwanda by 31 points to nil. And look at the passing. That was a Hail Mary pass if you ask me. Shouldn't have been there in the first place. And uh, Western Province are just having a training run here. Enjoying the sunny, sunny capital of Kenya Nairobi here at the Mo International Sports Center, Kasarani. The 18th edition of the Safari Comp 7s happening here. And Western Province with a commanding 22 0 lead. And we've not even finished the first half. Mwamba really have to come back into the game. They have been totally non existent. They have been absent on offense. They've been absent on defense. They've been non committal on the contact phase. And uh, Western Province have basically been dominant right across. 100% uh, clean record for the first half. Yes. Get, they need to get position. They, they need to show us what they can do with the ball. Their position is king in sevens. They need to get a hold of the ball, make it work for them, and try and come back into this game. Because as it looks like now, Western Province with a commanding 24 points to zero lead against uh, the former national sevens champions, Mwamba. Meli Wanibuli, over to you. Because very concerned more about technical bench there. Coach Meli Wanibuli, Fijian, almost breaking into some Fijian poetry right there. Trying to incite if not inspire his players into getting back into the game. The crowd is slowly building up. Very colorful crowd we have in Nairobi. Yes. 
perhaps likely over 20,000 fellows getting to the stadium by now within this 50,000 capacity stadium? Ah, absolutely, yeah. There, it's, a, it's a sensible crowd. If you take this crowd to the RFU ground, it will be jam packed. Yeah, but it's a very big stadium. A, a city, I mean, a stadium of 60,000. And uh, we are on to the second half right now. Western Province member leading by 24 points to nil uh, in the Safari Com 7th, 18th edition at the Moy International Sports Centre, Casa Rani. Of course, the action goes on up until 8 p.m. Western Province kicks us in for the second half. They lead Mwamba 24 points to zero. Mwamba, former National 7th Circuit champions from Kenya and Western Province, a very established provincial side from South Africa. Currently on song with 24.0, and oh. it would have actually been another try in there had there not been a knock on them. Mwamba have the ball. Have the ball. The first time in a while. Didn't have the gas to actually sustain him right across. Manages to throw the ball back. Edgar Bere to Oriwo. Joseph Oriwo manages to fuff in a very nasty pass. Western Province on the rampage. I don't think they'll be able to get him. They managed to tag onto the shot, but the shot is not the man. And a try is scored, of course. Western Province 29. Mwamba pay for that level of indecision. Oh, nice. Still zero for Mwamba 29. From a, Mwamba Western, Province. From a Western Province mistake. From a Mwamba mistake, oh, Western Province go all the way. And they score the try there. Good hands and the gas, the speed there. And then he, he decides just to tuck the ball under his under his elbow, and it's so easy. And Western Province now are going to be wondering where is the competition going to come from? They beat Rwanda in their first game by 31 points to nil. And Mwamba looking out of sorts completely. And uh, Western Province now with the conversion to come. Misses, but extend the lead to 12 points to nil. The pass from Abere wasn't very, very clinical. Very poor, by the way. And they have been punished here by a Western Province. And the crowd trying to walk their way into a frenzy here. Western Province kick off the second half. Uh, kick off the the ball here. And once again. A knock on from Wamba. The mistakes are piling up, piling up, piling up from Wamba here. They just haven't got going. I think they even played much better when they played the Kenya Shuja team. Nothing seems to be going right for Wamba at this juncture. 29 points, 5 minutes left to play. I think they're, they're keen on perhaps trying to lick their wounds and save a little level of confidence if not tried. Because they have really taken a beating and are continuing to take a beating from Western Province. And Western Province increase their scoreline. They extend the they extend the lead to 34 points to nil. And once again, Nasilari was saying from first first play. And Mwamba looking to be in all sorts of trouble right now. They are trailing by 34 points to nil with the conversion to come. Western Province just using their raw pace and power on the wings to basically score a ton of tries. And Mwamba just don't seem to have any answer whatsoever for the blistering pace that Western Province have deployed on the wings. Yes, absolutely. And the conversion has been missed, so it's uh, Western Province 34, Wamba 0. And Western Province are going to kick us off again. And for oh, once, Wamba have held onto the ball. And I'm beginning to put some phases of play into it, by the way. And uh, Wamba player there is just a little bit, by the way. But he's won that ball. For the first time, Wamba now trying to build up a stick of play for themselves. And uh, trying to get something going in this game. They need, just need to make the score look respectable here. And uh, once again, it's a penalty. Mamba penalized for not releasing the ball. And it's Western Province on the attack again. And a promising run there curtailed and nipped in the bud by Western Province. And Western Province now will keep this ball continue in the line out. Some level of protest there by the Mamba player, although it did nothing much to perturb the referee who stood his ground, insisting on the penalty. Giving a chance for Western Province to pile a lot more pressure. Line out 20 yards away from the Mamba try line, and it would appear that it might be a case of deja vu in the next couple of seconds. Yes, 
Sad faces out the Mambo technical bench. I don't think they're expecting this to be the scoreline. They're expecting it to be, to be very competitive and to give the Agunosa uh, province a run for their money, but nothing seems to have gone right for Mwamba since the half began. Or since the match began, rather. Western province seem to be quite tactically astute and definitely a team to watch. Um, if they should win this game, which they look well on course to, they will have actually been on pole position for Pool E. And uh, only Kenya Shuja might be able to stop this seemingly rampant Western Province outfit. Yeah, I mean, for me, I mean, Western Province, much as they're playing well with the basics and with pace and power, they have not been tested yet. And another try for Western Province. If this was a boxing match, the referee would have would have called off the game, by the way. The body language from the Mamba players tells the it all. The they are waiting they, for the whistle. They are waiting for the whistle. This is this this has been a hammering. This has been a, a real hammering. And easy as you like it there for Western Province. Easy as you like it. And the conversion to come. As it was one, Thirty-nine. To Western Province. I'm tempted to believe the Rwandis did a better job. They only considered, I think, 31. I think. And Rwanda um, is an up and coming nation, the world of rugby. I think Mamba, Mamba has been there since 1977. I think Mamba will have to go around and try and make amends with the Rwandese team. 39 points to zero, definitely not the expectation of this particular match. They have literally taken a beating from a very fluid Western Province outfit who played to their strengths, done the basics, minimized on the errors, and literally just deployed a lot of pace out in that that Wamba have not been able to deal with. Yes. And uh, it, it's it's set up nicely right now for Western Province together to play the final game of the day. But just look at that, look at the ball handling, the movement, and once again, Wamba just can't leave the pace and power of Western Province. Western Province 44. And I just think the Mamba players are just waiting for the final whistle right now. It's a one-sided game. Completely, I think, the most one-sided game we've had today so far, if you ask me. This will be the second highest uh, scoring match. Um, Kenya Morans defeated Botswana 50-0. As it stands now, Western Province are leading 44-0. So this will be the second highest scoring match in the entire day. Unless Western Province can score another one and make it the highest scoring game. Is missed. Scores remain at 44-0. The referee decides to stop the annihilation. So the score ends. Western Province win this one. 44 points. Mwamba 0. Mwamba 0. Next up, Kenya Shuja, the local boys versus Rwanda, the East African neighbors. Kenya Shuja coming up next against Rwanda. The Safari Com 7 here at the Moy International Sports Center, Castle Rani, the 18th edition.